The fight to get illegal firearms off the streets continues unabated, with the island's vulnerable ports posing a heightened security threat. Over the weekend, four individuals lost their lives to gun violence. However, the government also recorded gains by confiscating a number of illicit arms. Minister responsible for crime prevention, Jeremiah Norbert, disclosed the serious problem, the availability of illegal guns from overseas markets. And if we have four young people who died and they, would, and they died because of gun-related violence, and then you have in that same weekend the police record successes of five recovering five firearms, then, I mean, it's a really a time for us to pause and stop and maybe reimagine, rethink how we do some of the things, especially our entry, our entry points, our ports of entries, because I can tell you these firearms are not being manufactured in St. Lucia. They're not homemade guns as, as we used to here a long time ago. These firearms are being brought here from overseas. And we will be giving serious consideration um, as it relates to our, entry, our ports of entries and reconsidering and looking at how we do business there because we cannot continue along these lines. We cannot continue where firearms just coming to St. Lucia, like, you know. So we will be giving some serious consideration to that particular um, part of, of crime fighting. Norbert says officials continue to work on improving the island's border security. The police have been doing a lot and I want to commend them for their efforts to suppress crime and to suppress criminal activity. All the homicides that were recorded over the weekend were gun related. The police also recovered four or five firearms over the course of the weekend. They also recovered four or five um, firearms. And what that speaks to is the heavy influx of firearms into um, our borders. And we really have to reconsider our modus operandi. I understand that we may have, um, our borders may be a bit porous, and we're working to try to, to tighten it and to try to strengthen um, what currently exists at our entry, our port of entries. The Minister for Crime Prevention says the National Crime Prevention Strategy remains under development as the government seeks a consultant to assist with the process. I have started the engagement with stakeholders. I've met um, commerce, um, I've met civil society, I've met um, the chamber, um, other individuals who have an interest, I've met some NGOs and we started a discussion. I've also engaged two or three individuals who can serve in the capacity of consultant and we've not um, chosen a consultant but we're in the process of trying to identify a proper consultant to put together um, a national crime prevention strategy. So um, that, as I said, will take some time. Ports Minister Kenson Kazame emphasized that preventing crime is a shared responsibility. St. Lucia has had a very good record when it comes to actual global events especially sporting events and safety and security. Um, I don't know if anybody in the media can recall any point where we've hosted a CPL game, a black hat game, an international cricket game, and we've had incidents of crime um, at Darren Samuel within the community and the constituency. As a matter of fact, I think sports is the answer to ensure that people are better engaged. Young people are given a platform to you know, apply their skills, and that is why we've had a semi-professional league um, that is why we have a high performance center for cricket. That is why we have a youth uh, high performance program for football with Stuart Charles and Earl Paul Hogshaw. And uh, I really do believe that some of those programs, the, uh, the time factor will yield the results that we want, but I don't think there's any one answer that will curb any crime situation at this present moment. But I think it's important for every single minister and ministry to do their part in ensuring that you, you engage young people. The government continues to equip the police force with additional tools to carry out their duties, optimistic that the increased resources may help lead to a reduction in violent crime. Last week, the Philip JP administration provided the Royal St. Lucia Police Force with ATVs, jet skis and cars in a bid to boost security and bring the crime situation under control. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.